Okay, good afternoon, YouTube, and thanks again for tuning in to Why Labour Bushcraft and Survival. I'm Chuck, your host. Okay, now as I said before, me premises bushcraft on a budget, survival on the cheap. And today is no exception. I tested today in uh, the old standards, and one, of course, is the cold steel cookery machete. Yeah. Now you'll forgive me if you will, you'll hear in the background there are probably planes going overhead and dogs going by. I'm not in the forest, sadly, and I have neighbours who don't believe that silence is golden. But anyways, uh, today we're going to study this one. Now, um, this is not the, the Royal Cochrane, neither is it the uh, Gurkha Cochrane. It's a standard workhorse, and that's what they call it, a workhorse. Coming out of the uh, package, it's the workhorse it is, okay. Now, you know, it's not a bit of black coating, sort of a, uh, most of it like a, uh, satin on finish, I guess. Not the, not the coarse kind you see on things like shreds or anything, but that bears finish. Uh, polypropylene handle with that sort of fishnet or fishtail end, as you can see. And a nice, uh, a little bit of a swell here. Nice little, uh, nice little, uh, checkered little grommet holding, alright? A little nice holding there, alright? Um, and uh, like I said, now the thing about it is, a lot of people complain about these coming out of the box, dull as dull can be. Now, admittedly, when I took it out, it was paper cut and sharp. Right? So they might have done something about that. I can, I can't say for sure. But mine was sharp. I don't know what. Whether mine was an anomaly, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, now uh, going on to the uh, the sheath. Now again, I've made many, many uh, claims in the past. Oh, by the way, uh, <laughs> let's go back to the blade for a second. The blade, uh, 1055 carbon steel, okay, high carbon, and the blade overall about uh, 12 inches in the blade. So about, so I think about 15 uh, inches altogether, right? So that's the blade itself. Now we'll get back to that in a moment when we start chopping and then uh, all the other goes. The sheath, and let's say you don't, there are a lot of people gas on about the sheath, alright, uh, and I, I understand it, but listen, again, if you're basing your uh, equipment on the bloody sheath alone, you've got some serious, serious priority issues, okay? That's not great, but again, it, what to do? It holds the bloody machete in place. It's not supposed to be designed for anything else. Sits on the belt, bingo. Belt loop, a lot of people guess one about that. Belt loop, strap, it keeps it in place. All right, it's not, it, it, it's not going to fall out if you run. Okay, it's a sheet. It's a very simple, nothing magnanimous about it. Sheet, cross or 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 uh, uh, do not digest its uh, simplicity. Do not do not curse its simplicity. At the same time, I guess. Anyways, it is what it is. It's a now the blade, of course we'll do the uh, standard stuff, is it sharp? Well, let's take a gander now, we'll do the, um, yeah, you have another new choil here, so we'll just work the sweet spot down here first, okay? And I hope that you can see this again, uh, it's myself doing this whole thing, the camera work and everything else. But, as you can see, it, it, it's got the sharpness going there, right, digging a little bit. Is it great? Well, no, but, it, it, but again, you know, uh, it's a machete. Now machetes are what? They're choppers. But you can see it's getting in there. I mean, it's not doing a gr brilliant piece. And you get up in the street spot up top there, and you're getting in there. So you can do your feather sticking with it too. Now if you got it down and rested on a post here, yeah, you can get in there. It's going to do the work. Okay, so um, it, it, you could do your number seven notches, things like that, because it's a chopper. So you can work that kind of stuff in there, if you will. Fantastic. Now I put my gloves on because we're working with pine here. I mean, uh, we're not working with the hardwood, we're working with the pine. Uh, so, uh, tarry, if you will. Okay, but again, so, sharp enough for the, the, the small work, use it as a draw knife. You know the simple things you would do with a machete. Okay, but now, the question is, a machete, what is it? It's a chopper. So, let's see how well it works in the old, you know, the category of chopping. Okay. And just right off the glass, I mean, I don't know, hopefully you can see this. So we're digging right in there. And, I mean, wow, I mean, it really, I hope this is catching on the camera, because again, but this is real here, I pro, huh, stupid me. But I mean, it's really digging in there, if you could see right there, it's really digging in nicely. 
Okay, look at that. And I'm going to go again. I'm uh, handling from this angle here. And boy, I got to tell you, that's that's doing a pretty damn good job there. Okay, it's it's digging in nicely. And I mean, this is not, I mean again, it's not hard work, but by the same token, it's a pretty thick load here. Okay, so it's digging in nicely. So does, is it a chopper? Who oh, yeah, it is. Now the question is though. Does it keep its edge once it's chopped in? In other words, you know, does, does it do anything for the blade? Oh, by the way, now as I said, um, the manufacturer-wise, this one is uh, manufactured in South Africa. Uh, a, a couple of their uh, blades are made in China. And again, a lot of people gas on about, oh, it's made in China, boo-hoo. A lot of companies make their bloody blades in China. Cold Steel, not this one, this is South Africa. But Cold Steel makes theirs in China, some of theirs. Spydeco, Kershaw, you know, respectable names in the cutlery world. So stop gassing on the fact that it's made in China. It happens. All right. It, 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 it's cheaper labor. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I agree with it. I'm just saying this is what happens. And it does not delineate from the quality. Okay, so like I said though, you can see this is really going into town, but oh, but here's the thing though, guys, alright, now that's the problem, right, let me just see, they yeah, look though, I don't know if you can see that up close or not, you can see it's done a bit of roll in there, you go to Nix, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can, so you go to Nix there, so, a little, uh, little less, work on the tempering there but just right in that spot there we didn't we did it all over and just right now now i mean i um boy that's not that's not high marks in my book no is it so the tempering wasn't great i mean I, I i can i can rule this out all right a little fine uh, uh a little fine file metal file and i can get those out and that's not a biggie however brand new and sh should i have to get it out I mean, this is cold steel now, for Christ's sake. This is supposed to be top rate. And I gotta tell you, if, um, if that's rolling out like that, chipping and all, and my book is not top rate, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. You know, it's chipping there. Well, I, I, I'm reticent about doing it, but we'll try, uh, we'll try a bit of, um, that tawning. I'm not going to go super heavy on this one. I'm just going to go a bit of a light one here. Because I'll tell you the truth, if it's, if it's rolling over like that, from just what I've done here, how is it going to do with the toning now? Well, let's take a gander and see what we have then. I'll take a bit of a bit of a look here. And I'll give it a bit of a whack. Okay, wish us luck here. And I, I've got to tell you, after seeing that, I'm not altogether totally sure this is going to make it all the way through. But... As I said, if it is a workhorse, it should baton right through this, you know. And again, it's a machete, right? It's a machete and it's a kukri. Now, the kukri themselves in Nepal are made for two things. They're made for fighting and they're made for working. Okay, so it went through there. Bit of mustard in that. Doesn't do much to the, uh, doesn't do much to the finish. But again, that's, uh, that's that edge. Oh, that edge. As you can see, it didn't do anything to the uh, to the, sh the shape or anything like that. Didn't do anything to the setup. Still nice and smooth. And now I've got to tell you though. All right. So for the for the chopping, all right. No no sharp, no hot spots or anything like that. Okay. Because uh, I'm I'm using it backhanded. All right. I use the glove because of the tire and all that. But for the chopping itself, I mean. But it's doing a fair decent job there. Now, I mean, uh, no, no swells, no, no, no hot spots, no shock or anything like that. I can do that with no problem whatsoever. And I got to that log right here. I got to this one with uh, no shocks or anything like that. So, yeah, it's a chopper. Um, sharp when it came out. But I got to tell you, folks, well, uh, th this rolling on the blade. Now that that's good bad marks in my case. I mean, uh, again, I can feel that out. 
filed it out, no problem out. That there. However, brand new, and this is cold steel. This is a knife. Oh, this is a company that stands behind this product, hopefully. But I gotta tell you, I, I can't, I can't really give this the highest rate. Right? I'm not sure, I'm not keen about that at all. Um, I got it. Now I've done other blades and all, cookery type, and I, 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 I like the cookery. Uh, uh, no, it's a cooker machine because of the shape, the, 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 the ability for chopping and all that. I really like the cookers, uh, the shreds, uh, the, uh, even the Kershaw uh, comp tins and things like that, cooker shape and whatnot. Um, but I've got to tell you, I'm not altogether excited about this. Not, not at all, not by a long shot. Um, if I was to give it a mark at all, I'd have to give it. I, I honestly. I'd give it maybe a, a four and a half, a five, okay, because again, handle-wise, fine, right? A lot of people don't like that fish handle thing. I don't mind it, good, got the hole, full tang, but uh, if a company that's supposed to be top rate in the best of its field has blades doing that, and i got to tell you, a four and a half and a five on my back, and I'm being bloody generous. I mean, it'll still do the work, don't get me wrong. But that really, I mean, come on, that shouldn't be happening. I realize this is not the top of their line. This is not the, the, uh, the Gurkha cookery, even the rail cookery. But again, if you had the claim of it being a workhorse, all right, they should do the work without that happening. So um, do us a favor, okay. Uh, post in the comments section, maybe this has happened with you, I don't know. Uh, if it has, let me know, or if you think I'm just being over over sensitive about it, tell me that too, okay, because I mean, maybe it's happened to you, maybe the same thing, maybe you've had the same experience, or maybe you're just seeing this the first time, whatever the case may be, comment below, um, thumbs up if you like it, if you didn't like the, this presentation, by all means, feel free to keep it to yourself, anyways, once again, for Wild Irish Bushcraft and Survival, I'm Shockley Host, thanks an awful lot for tuning in, Lancha, we'll talk to you later.